Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today we're outside. The smoke has been dissipating a little bit, but it's still pretty bad out. We're at a quality index of around 150, which is still considered to be pretty unhealthy, so I'm not going to be spending too much time outside today. Um, but I wanted to show you this box that I just got in the mail from Twin Cities Peppers. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's inside it, so I thought I would open it up for you guys and show you what I got. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's inside. All right, we got some peppers. So I mentioned to him that my peppers didn't do very well this year, especially the hot peppers. So he sent me some fresh pods from his awesome looking plants. Um, so we've got a couple of seven pot gigantic something orange. And then we have the Griff Reaper. These should be pretty hot. And then we've got Freeport Orange Scotch Bonnets. So I've actually grown these before. Um, these are actually pretty big pods. Mine didn't get quite that big. I think it was last year that I grew those, but they're a really nice Scotch Bonnet. And here we have a Maruga Red Monster. And then we've got the TS Maruga Claw crossed with the yellow brain strain. Some interesting hot crosses here. And then we've got a bunch of other, looks like a bunch of different pods in here. Let's see what we have. So we've got the Aleppo. So this Aleppo is very different than the Aleppo that I grew. I just recently discovered that there's actually two different strains of Aleppo. One that's got a lot smaller and a lot thinner walls. And this one is the larger one that has really thick walls. And this is the one I think that I want to grow next year. So I'll be saving seeds from this pod for sure. And we'll be growing those out next year because these are the ones that I want for my hot sauce. And then we've got some chocolate scotch bonnets. Nice looking chocolate pods there. And then here we've got the apocalypse scorpion. That's going to be a hot one. So these are going to make some great sauces, I think. Uh, I think that's the same as that one. And then this one here is the Bootla BBG7 Pot Chocolate. That's going to be good. We have the Purple Pumpkin. And this looks like it's um, a, maybe crossed with the BBG. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some color in the calyx, which is um, a trait that the bubblegum BBG varieties have. So that's kind of fun. Let's see what this one is. So those were the Caramel Boot Jalokia. So that's got a few of those in there. Oh, here's another one of those ones with the, the bleeding calyx. Pretty cool pods. And then we've got Scotch Brain. I did grow the Scotch Brain either last year or the year before, and that's about, mine were pretty good size like that as well. It's a really good hot pepper. And here we've got the Peach Reaper. So a nice gnarly looking pod there. And then we've got, let's see, this one is a Jalokia crossed with a Sugar Rush Peach. That's going to be a fun one. Sugar Rush is one of my favorite peppers. So that's going to be a tasty pod there. And then we've got, looks like we've got some sauces in here too. Let's see if we can see what's in here. So here we've got a mango scotch brain sauce. And then this one. Here we've got the Griff Reaper Sriracha. 
So these are all from Twin Cities Peppers, a really, really nice guy. You can find him on Instagram and YouTube. So that was some pretty awesome stuff from Twin Cities Peppers. So a big shout out to him for sending all these goodies to me um, to make up for some of my unsuccessful attempts at make, growing hot peppers this year. Um, but I do wanna mention he is doing some really awesome stuff with his peppers, um, doing some stuff that I've never seen anyone do before. He's growing in both containers and in ground, which is not the interesting part, but the, the containers, he's actually growing some cover crops inside the containers during the growing season. So as this stuff grows, I'll actually cut it down as well. Um, and again, you're gonna be feeding the plants with plants. So cut it down, it will add to the compost layer on top, worms will start breaking it down, um, and it will keep growing. I thought that was a really interesting idea and something that I think is a great idea and I'm not sure why more people aren't doing that or if they are, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So really awesome ideas that he's doing. His plants are just humongous. And he's in Minnesota, which is a pretty short growing season um, compared to a lot of other places. So, I mean, his plants are just humongous. So check him out. Um, again, you can find him on YouTube as well as Instagram. Um, I'll put a link to his social media sites in the description of this video. Thanks again to Twin Cities Peppers. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.